Hello everyone, welcome back to the World of Reaper channel. In today's video, we're going to be ranking a bunch of condiments, so let's get right down to it. The first one on this list is Thousand Island Dressing. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Thousand Island Dressing. I think it has a pretty nice taste to it. Uh, the consistency is alright. It's not like the best, you know, dressing out there, so I'm going to give it a B tier. Uh, next one, next sauce, uh, hold on. Worcestershire sauce, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, which is like the famous, you know, steak sauce. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to give it an A tier. It's pretty good. I'm not super versatile, but I could definitely dip my fries in it or something like that. So it does taste very good. So that's going to get an A tier. Uh, next up is balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, you know, it has an all right taste to it. I don't really use it that often. It could be used to dip like your fries in. Like it's not like that bad of a sauce. It's like fairly versatile, but taste itself is just like, I don't know, it has a bit of a weird aftertaste. So I'm going to have to put it in C tier. Up next is honey barbecue. This is ooh, low key S tier. I love I love barbecue sauce, honey barbecue, spicy barbecue, but honey barbecue is really good. Um, it can be used for a lot of things. You know, you can put it on steak, you can put it on burgers, maybe even a hot dog if you're that crazy. You get out with fries, you know. So it's like fairly versatile, you know, the uh, barbecue sauce. But that's gonna be our first S tier. Up next is blue cheese. Okay. Um. Some people are going to kill me for this. Some people agree with me. I don't like blue cheese at all. I don't know how anyone can really stomach blue cheese. Listen, our tastes are all different, right? We all have different palates, right? Taste is subjective, but I just don't like blue cheese. It, ugh, not not that good. I don't, I don't like it at all. Okay, up next is uh, Boom Boom Sauce, which I initially thought was called like the Bang Bang Sauce, but it's actually called Boom Boom Sauce. This is also going to be an S tier. Um, I remember uh, freshman year of high school, um, the first like lunch we, uh, me and my friends ever had was like chicken tenders with uh, fries and Boom Boom Sauce. It was the first time I ever had Boom Boom Sauce. And it was phenomenal. It was, it was actually addicting. It was so good that I dipped my peanut butter and jelly sandwich in boom boom sauce and ate it because it was just it was just that good. Like it makes anything taste incredible. It was it was just awesome. S tier, extremely versatile. Like I could probably put that in a salad as a dressing. Like, oh my God. It's so good. Our next is Tostitos Queso, A tier. I love cheese. I'm a huge cheese lover. You know, and since it's Tostitos and, you know, they make a lot of salsa, you know, you could put, you know, a bit of spice in there, you know. Uh, so they do make it a little bit spicy, which is good. That's how queso is supposed to be. And it's it's really good A tier. Hershey's chocolate syrup. Okay, I love chocolate sauce a lot. <sighs> yeah, S tier. S tier. Yeah, I, I love chocolate syrup. I mean, for what it is, like... I could literally eat spoons, like tablespoons of chocolate syrup and be a happy guy, you know. Um, it, it could go on ice cream. It could go on – it could basically go on like any kind of dessert and it will it will do its job. It will taste amazingly. You know, the only thing it can't really go on is like actual food because that would be gross. But it does its job and it does it very well. And obviously the sauce itself is super sweet, super delicious. And you know, I have a sweet tooth and I'm a big chocolate lover. So – Another S tier. Heinz cocktail sauce. Okay, this is going to get a B tier because, yes, it tastes very good. And if you have it with shrimp, it you know, how you're supposed to have it, it's incredible, incredible combination. The only problem is that outside of shrimp, cocktail sauce has, like, no, like, substance. Like, I, w I wouldn't use cocktail sauce on anything else other than shrimp, basically. Maybe a steak if I'm, like, that desperate. But, you know, not, not much to it, so... B tier. Caesar dressing's getting an A tier. Oh, a tier. Um, I use it. You know, I I always get Caesar salad on on a on a salad. Sorry, on a salad. Caesar dressing is absolutely phenomenal. It's really good. 
Uh, there's like Parmesan, I'm pretty sure like garlic, I think a bit of like parsley, oregano or something like that. So it's very good. Um, and I actually have it with fries. If, if there's a chance, if I'm at like a buffet or something like that, or if I'm at like in college, uh, you know, like in like my college is like eating place, uh, or whatever, um, and they have Caesar dressing, I'll get that and dip my fries in it because it's really good. It's just so good. So that's going to get an A tier. Uh, Frank's Red Hot is an S tier. Um, it, 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 for a hot sauce, it's just absolutely phenomenal. It's not too bland. It's not too hot. It's like the just amount. It's just the right amount of hot sauce. For someone with an average tolerance, which really isn't that high, I don't really have a high tolerance. And, you know, so I, I, I don't think Frank's Red Hot is, like, for babies, you know. I'm not, like, some, like, giga chat alpha male, like, oh, Frank's Red Hot's not spicy. What are you talking about? Like, like I'm, I'm an average human being. I'm going to find hot sauce to be fairly hot, you know. And so the average Frank's Red Hot sauce is, like, fairly spicy. And, uh, you know, and it does its job well. You know, if you have, like, a little bit of it, you're not you're going to be okay. But, like... It's really just how how much hot sauce do you want to put on your your fries or chicken tenders or whatever you know, um, and it's very versatile. I'll put it on hot dogs, hamburgers, fries, mac and cheese. I'll put it on everything other than like dessert and stuff. And so it's extremely versatile. Tastes extremely well. Spice is just the right amount. It's it's getting an, another S tier. Okay, French dressing is getting a C tier. I'm not a big fan of French dressing at all, and I can't really put it – I would never put it on anything else other than a salad. Yellow mustard is going to get a B tier. It, it has a decent amount of versatility, but the taste itself, like I'd much rather choose uh, honey mustard or, or the deli mustard, you know, the spicy brown mustard over regular. Uh, actually, no, it's getting a C tier. Regular mustard, it's just – oh, I don't know. The yellow mustard, I, I just don't like it. Hummus, okay, I'm going to get killed for this F tier. I, I don't like hummus at all. I don't like the taste of it. If it if they had, like, garlic hummus, maybe it's a C tier. But regular hummus, oh, my God, I could not stand the taste of. Keep in mind, this tier list is all my opinion, right? I have, obviously, a different palate than pretty much, you know, the, every person watching. We all have different palates, so we're all going to rank these differently, but... You know, these are just my opinions, so deal with it. Garlic parm uh yeah, garlic parmesan. Um I think I've had it like once, and it was like for like a Buffalo Wild Wings sauce. Um I love garlic and I love parmesan. Um so I'm probably gonna have to put this in A tier. Uh because I could just I, I it tastes pretty good. I okay, I will admit I haven't had it in a long time. So I don't entirely remember it. Um actually, okay, I have to put it not tried because I haven't had it in a really long time. So I can't I don't want to be biased. But I can assume, I can imagine this would be like eight tier. I can imagine garlic and parmesan taste incredible. What I have had though is Domino's or Papa John's garlic sauce. So they literally give you a little cup of garlic. You can dunk dunk it in with anything. This is going to get a B tier. Um, because like I said, I love garlic, right? It tastes good. It tastes very good. But if I have too much of it, and I don't mean like having like copious amounts. I mean like if I literally just use like half the container or even just a quarter of it, I want to throw up. I feel disgusting after having it. It's – uh, but – I don't know the the few the few instances where you can enjoy the garlic, it's such a good taste. It's so good. Gravy. Okay, gravy is getting. <sighs> Ooh. Uh. Damn. Uh. Okay, I'm, I'm like really contemplating this. Just give me one second. Because gravy, it's pretty, it has a bit of versatility and it tastes really well. But I really only have it during like Thanksgiving. Mm, I gotta put it in A tier because, oh, like I said, I really only have it during Thanksgiving. I'm pretty sure most people only have it during Thanksgiving. Unless you're getting like disco fries, which is uh, 
mozzarella, mozzarella cheese on top of your fries and you put a uh, gravy on top of it. But I, I like don't really have it. It's not, you know, I could imagine having it with fries or like with a steak, but I don't know. I just don't really have it that often. It tastes very good though, but I just don't really have it often. And it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like somewhat difficult to make. I'm not too sure, but um, really it's my mom who makes it and I don't want her to suffer having to make gravy every goddamn minute. So yeah, it's going to get an A tier. Um, it's like fairly versatile, but not, not super versatile. Is it versatile or versatile? I think it's versatile. Versatile. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, Creole sauce. Creole sauce is going to get an A tier. Uh, I actually only had this. My first time having it was actually like four months ago. and It was, it was actually very good. A uh, bit of a weird kick to it, but I could have this, you know, for pretty much like a lot of different stuff, you know, fries especially. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, fries are like the standard, you know, for like dipping sauces in. So most of these I've actually had with fries obviously and that's how i judge but you know if you have a different food it might elicit a different flavor experience i'm not gonna have fries with chocolate sauce you know i'll have ice cream with chocolate sauce but you know i've, I've had most of these with fries that's what i'm basing my judgment on um but you know creole sauce is it's pretty good so that's again eight here up next is hoisin sauce uh i haven't tried it yeah I, I feel like it's like it looks like it's like soy sauce um, but yeah, never tried it. I don't want to be biased. So not tried honey mustard's getting an S tier, easy S tier. It tastes super good, far better than this guy over here. God, yellow mustard is so bland. Uh, yeah, honey mustard. I could put that on a lot of different things. Super sweet, uh, fairly tangy. Uh, it's, it's great. Horseradish. I have not tried horseradish. I think I may have had it once and I hated it, but like I said, I haven't had it in a long time. So I gotta put that in not tried. Okay, ketchup. Ketchup's gonna get an A tier. Uh fairly versatile. Versatile. Uh, I'm just gonna say it has versatility. Ketchup has a lot has a good amount of versatility. Um, but the taste itself, you know, it tastes good, but it's not like out of this world. I'm not gonna be like, wow. That ketchup is super good. I'm just going to be like, yeah, it does its stuff. It does it very well. So ketchup's going to get an A tier. Lemon lime juice is getting an F tier. Listen, like I said, all palates are different. I don't really like sour unless it's like Sour Patch or like a Warhead or something like that. But these two things right here, because I don't know. I've never had lemon lime sauce outside of this picture right here, these two bottles. And even still, it just – oh. My God, lemon lime, the juice itself that you squeeze out. Oh my God, it's disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> Sorry to burst anyone's bubble, but the, the lemon lime juice like in these two bottles right here is, oh my God, it's atrocious. F tier immediately. Uh, now we have uh, maple syrup. I think it's Anjamima or something like that. Um, A tier. Uh, flavor incredible um you know it, it it can go well on pretty much any breakfast food and so for that it's gonna get an a tier but i mean the only reason why it's not getting an s tier is because i really only put it on pancakes waffles and like french toast but outside of those three things like i would never put it on anything else so not a lot of versatility but it goes well with pancakes and waffles so i take back what i said by saying go on any breakfast food because i'm not putting syrup on eggs i'm not putting syrup on a bagel I'm not putting syrup on a sausage oh no maybe no 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 so yeah i'm not putting syrup on sausages so yeah so the syrup's getting an a tier uh hellman's uh or just not hellman's mayo just regular mayo <sighs> It's getting a C tier. If I have like chicken cutlets with mayo or like a chicken cutlet sandwich with mayo, you know, it does its job well. Um, mayo itself, I find absolutely disgusting. Um, but if the if it was like Chipotle mayo or like a seasoned mayo, it would get almost an S tier because I love Chipotle mayo. But regular mayo, it consistency is weird. I, it doesn't taste all that great, but if I have it with like a chicken cutlet 
it does its job and makes it taste pretty well. So mayo's getting the C tier. All right, up next we have sweet and sour sauce. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too good. I would definitely put it above uh, mayo and the C tier because you know, if I'm having like Chinese food or um, yeah, if I'm having like Chinese food or whatever and I'm like, I want sweet and sour, sweet and sour delivers and it can deliver quite well, but uh, no, I just, I wouldn't really consider it to be any better or any worse than an A and C tier. So it's, it's going right in B. Okay. Miracle Whip I've never had. Supposedly it's just like mayo though, except different. I thought a Miracle Whip was whipped cream. So that's why I've always wanted to try it. But after finding out that it's basically just mayo, I don't want to try it. So I'm putting it not tried. Okay, up next is hot chipotle sauce. Okay, chipotle sauce in general is is getting an A tier. Um, I could put it on a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of versatility. Um, it does taste pretty well, but if I have like too much of it, it starts getting a funky taste. So for that, I can't put an S tier. Because with S tier, with all of these, I can just have copious amounts of it and I'll be fine. I, there won't be a weird aftertaste or anything. I'll just keep eating it the way it is. And it'll be fine. But Chipotle sauce, if I have too much of it, I'm kind of like, what is this? You know, it's not that good. Okay, virgin olive oil. Okay, I can't really say I haven't tried it because everyone's basically had olive oil. Um, oh, okay. I, I just realized because because I'm Italian, I go to a fair amount of Italian restaurants. You, have, you dip the bread in the oil, right? Sometimes when you go to a, an Italian restaurant, they give you either butter, you know, or they give you like olive oil. To dip your bread in. Um, and honestly, the olive oil or virgin olive oil, whatever, uh, it's getting a B tier. You know, it, it does its job pretty well. It, it actually has like a pretty good taste, but, and it's pretty much used for cooking in like everything. But I don't really know if I'd just be eating straight up olive oil with like fries. I'd probably feel disgusting. But um, when I dip my bread in at an Italian restaurant, it tastes pretty good. Um, like I said, it could be used for a lot of cooking. But the, 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 the oil itself, I would probably like feel disgusting if I ate even just like a teaspoon of it. So it's getting a B tier. Uh, sour cream and onion, easy S tier. Easy S tier. Now, it doesn't have a lot of versatility, but I could – Pretty much dip just about any chip. Cheese it, chip, Tostitos, like all those Cheetos. It's really good. It is super good. Uh, yeah, I, I, I absolutely love the flavor of it. It Anytime I have a family party and they and my mom or whoever brings out sour cream and onion dip, I, my, mm, my mood like changes immediately. And what I actually do is – you know, because when it comes to most, like, family gatherings or gatherings with your friends, you know, it comes to, like, eating, you know, like, dinner or whatever. And most of the time, you know, for me, because I'm a fairly picky eater, it's, like, hit or miss, right? So, in the instance that there is a miss, I don't want to be eating stuff that I don't prefer. So, normally when I'm at, like, a friend, uh, friend's house or family's house or whatever, and, um, you know, they have sour cream and onion dip, my one mission is... Um, if I do not know what we are having for dinner, I'll try to stuff as much sour cream and onion dip, like chips and dip, in me as possible. Um, so that way I won't have to eat as much dinner. Which sounds it sounds mean, but um, no, trust me. Most of the, most of the dinners I have my friends and family are very good. But sour cream and onion sauce is getting an S tier. Uh, flavor is unbelievable. I don't even know how people decide to put sour cream and onion together and be like, oh, that's going to taste amazingly. But whoever did that, kudos to them. It tastes incredible. Oyster sauce. I think I've had it like once or twice, but I can't remember it, so I don't want to be biased. That's going in not tried. Peanut butter is getting a B tier. Um, I've never actually had crackers with peanut butter. Honestly, anything flavored peanut butter besides like a Reese's, I don't like at all, but – if you have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or peanut butter and fluff sandwich, it does its job very well, you know, uh, especially peanut butter and fluff. And you have that with like a glass of milk. Oh, it's immaculate. But, you know, peanut butter itself, it's, it's you know, makes it dehydrated. It's not the best tasting thing in the world. 
I know a lot of people that are allergic to peanut butter, so I can't really eat that around some people. So, you know, for that, it's getting a B tier. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't care if anyone has an allergy or not. Like, I do care if they have an allergy, but I mean, like, my friends having an allergy to peanut butter isn't going to affect the rating. But the peanut butter itself is getting a B tier. It doesn't taste amazingly, but if you have it with peanut butter, uh, if you have it with jelly or fluff, it's going to, it's going to deliver. Pico de Gallo is getting an A tier. Now, I hate raw tomatoes, and that's why it's not getting an S tier. Uh, if It really depends on the ratio. If there's a lot more tomatoes than like onions, and I think, I don't know what else is in the Pico de Gallo. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like onions and other stuff. And then, you know, I'm not going to like it if there's a lot more tomatoes. But if, if the ratio is all about the same, I can withstand the tomato flavor. And it will taste very, very good. I love pico de gallo. But, again, it, it really depends, you know, when I'm dipping a chip in there, am I getting, like, a ton of tomato? Am I not? Because, you know, there, there's a good amount of people out there that love raw tomatoes. And there's also a good amount of people out there that hate raw tomatoes. So I fall in the second group. You know, I'm choosing the latter. And, yeah, so that's why pico de gallo is getting an A tier, not an S tier. Ranch is getting a B tier. Um, I used to be a huge fan of ranch. Um, and obviously, you know, when you're at like a wing place, you know, whenever you're getting wings like Applebee's or Buffalo Wild Wings, you always ask the, you know, the quint, uh, the, the quintessential question, uh, or the essential question. I don't know if I use quintessential, right? Ranch or blue cheese? Well, blue cheese gets an F tier and ranch gets a B tier, but you know, it tastes all right. But, um, I think over the years, my, my taste for ranch dressing is kind of, flattened decreased i'm not a big fan of it anymore but uh yeah b tier it, it, it still does its job relish i actually never had pretty sure actually i think i had it once i remember it being sweet but um hmm yeah i don't want to be biased i i haven't had it in a long time rushing dressing never had Sauerkraut is getting an A tier. I love sauerkraut. I could eat sauerkraut the way the I could eat sauerkraut the way it is, and it will just taste very good. Um, I really don't know how to describe the taste of sauerkraut, but uh, I could easily put that on a hot dog and enjoy myself. I can I can just eat it the way it is. I really only have it with hot dogs, but. It does its job pretty well, and the fact that I could just eat it the way it is and be full because it's technically a food is, it's good. It's good. So it gets an A tier. It's not getting an S tier because I don't eat it with anything else other than hot dogs. But sauerkraut itself, you know, I don't know if I should really be eating jars of sauerkraut. So uh, A tier. Sesame oil never tried sour cream itself is getting a c tier it's all right it doesn't taste horrible but something to ride home about um not a big sour fan i think i may have mentioned that earlier um you know if you put some onions in there it gets an s tier but on a sour cream itself it's all right uh soy sauce is also mm, uh, actually yeah soy sauce also gets a c tier it's good like it's all right but there is so much salt in there, and I like salt, but soy sauce is just too much. It's like you're having, like, liquid salt. It's, no, <laughs> it's it's too much, it's too much. Um, Sriracha sauce, okay, sriracha sauce is getting an A tier. It's very flavorful, uh, pretty spicy, not super spicy. Um, but it doesn't compete with Frank's Red Hot Sauce. It, it just, it's simply not him. You know, Frank, uh, Sriracha Sauce, it, it's not him. He is not him, you know, it's not it. But, um, very good though, but I wouldn't put it at S tier because it just doesn't taste as good as Frank's. I mean, okay, even without it tasting as good as Frank's, it just... I'll eat it, but it's not – I wouldn't put this on everything. You know, Frank's Red Hot, I put that on pretty much everything. With Sriracha, like, I'll only really have it if there is if there is Sriracha. Like, if I'm at a restaurant and there's a, a bottle of Sriracha sauce, I'll put it on it. But I'm not, like, reaching for the fridge to grab the Sriracha. I'd much rather reach it for, like, another sauce that's on the S tier. So I have to put an A tier. Uh, strawberry syrup. 
I'm not a big fan of strawberries. Uh, strawberry yogurt, I absolutely love. I love strawberry yogurt. But strawberry syrup, no, I don't like it at all. Uh, Tabasco hot sauce is also getting an A tier. Um, I feel like, now I don't want to compare Frank's Red Hot or Sriracha um, because then it would go in like B or C tier. But Tabasco sauce itself, it has a lot less, it's not super flavorful and it's actually a lot spicier, but uh, than Frank's Red Hot and Sriracha, but uh, I don't know. It has a good amount of flavors, so you know I can I can put that with fries and it delivers. But uh, yeah, it's gonna get an A tier. Actually, okay. Don't insult me for this, but Tabasco sauce. If I put too much of it on, it does get to be a little bit overbearing with the spice. You know, my spice tolerance is like average. You know, a little bit more on the lower side, I guess you could say. So. If I have too much Tabasco sauce, you know, it's not that good. But there isn't just as much flavor as, you know, some other sauces. But if I do want something that's giving me heat, Tabasco sauce is the way to go. Teriyaki sauce is also getting a C tier. Very flavorful, very flavorful. But I only have it with, like, Chinese food. I'm not going to the store to buy a bottle of uh, teriyaki sauce, you know, so... It's all right. It does its job. It's it doesn't have a lot of versatility, but you know, for what it's worth, if I do have teriyaki sauce on you know on some food I'm eating, it will be very very good. Um, Texas Pete hot sauce. Um, it's also getting a B tier, much like Tabasco. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Uh, it has a spice, you know, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. But it does its job, so it gets a B tier. Okay. Whipped cream, A tier. If it was cool whip, I put it at S tier, but um, I'm doing only whipped cream. Whipped cream can go on pretty much any dessert. It's very good, um, but the texture of it I find to be a bit odd. Um, and if I have like too much whipped cream, it might I feel disgusting. Um, cool whip's a different story. Cool whip gets an S tier. I love the texture of that, but you know, ready whip, you know, if I have, you know, uh, the texture is a bit weird and if I have too much of it, I'll be like, okay, you know, not a big fan. But if I put like, if I have ice cream and I put just the right amount of whipped cream on it, it will be very good. So it does its job well. So it gets an A tier. Um, okay. This is Worcester sauce. But except it's from a different brand, so I'll just put it with the regular Worcester sauce right here. Worcester. I think that's how you pronounce it, Worcester. Um, yum Yum sauce. Never had it. Kind of looks like the Boom Boom sauce, so I can't be biased. But I don't know. I like the coloring of it, though. The coloring, the, the orangish coloring that looks like it's going to be tangy like Boom Boom sauce. But I can't, you know, I can't rate it. Don't want to be biased here. And then next, Zesty Italian. Uh, actually, no, I have had Italian dressing. It's getting a C tier. I actually did my fries in, in Italian dressing, you know. Um, I could put it on salad. But other than that, there's not much to it, you know. Decent amount of flavor, but, you know, I'm not going crazy over, you know, Zesty Italian or just Italian dressing in general. But there it is. Um that was, I think, like 20-ish condiments or whatever, probably more than that. But, yeah, the that was the ultimate condiment tier list. Uh, there's definitely more out there, though. But if you have any suggestions for a tier list, uh, please suggest them to me because I want to make more of these. I find these to be a lot of fun. Um, but, again, this is all my own opinion. So if you if you want to argue in the comments, please go ahead. I'm, I'm interested in hearing people's thoughts. We all have different palettes. And I want to see how you guys would probably rank these, if there's any changes that you would make. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, please comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing as it will truly help a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.